What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we're going to be discussing the new rumors. The rumors you guys have not heard just yet, but apparently on the rumor mill right now, guys, apparently Mattel is in some serious business trouble, much like Toys R Us. You, you guys know, um, I think a few months back or like a year ago almost now, I can't remember the exact date or the time frame. I believe it was within the year or last year, whatever the case. Toys R Us did go out of business and apparently Mattel, the ones that make our beloved WWE action figures at the moment, our basics, our elites, um, some of our other stuff in the WWE, uh, uh, you know, line, uh, they are apparently in some trouble financially, and apparently the rumor is they are in some trouble, and uh, they're not salvageable, and I, I have an article here from yahoofinance.com, and I want to uh, discuss it here with you guys. I'll pull it up. It says, MGA Entertainment founder and CEO Isaac Larian told us how he really felt about toy maker Mattel. The message to Mattel is very clear. This is in quotes by Larian. He says, The message to Mattel is very clear. They are in big, big trouble. Frankly, why I gave up on the merger talks. We were considering a hostile takeover because after further research, Mattel is in such a situation right now. I don't think that they can be salvaged, says Larian, the creator of Bratz and LOL Dolls. Said in an interview with Yahoo Finance, there is too much water under the bridge and unfortunately they are going to go the same way as Toys R Us. Mattel is insolvent, added Larian. On Wednesday, Larry and pulled his latest undisclosed offer to buy struggling Mattel, which he reportedly made several weeks ago. The toy mogul cited an uncooperative Mattel management team and what he believes is a deeply troubled brand. Larry Ann did say he would be interested in buying Mattel's brands on the cheap in bankruptcy should that day arrive. Mattel's share dropped more than 4% on the news. The reality is we have made strong progress on our ongoing strategic transformation plan, including significant improvements in our profitability and operating income while laying the groundwork to drive long-term shareholder value, said a Mattel spokesperson. The spokesperson pointed to Mattel's three consecutive quarters of lower losses as signs of progress. Mattel has continued to contest Larian's latest statements and said that they are simply not accurate. To their point, Mattel did end the first quarter with $380 million in cash. It also has a $1.6 billion untapped credit line secured in December 2017, according to its latest quarterly filing. So technically speaking, Mattel is not insolvent as it stands today. Indeed, Larian's outburst isn't coming out of nowhere, provided one has followed his interaction with Mattel executives this past year. Larian first offered to buy Mattel in May 2018, but was quickly rebuffed by then-CEO Chris Sinclair. Since then, new Mattel CEO Jan Kritz, I hope I'm not, you know, just destroying that name there, and his executive team have embarked on a $650 million cost-cutting plan. The company has also opened a movie studio in an effort to develop content around its top brands similar to rival Hasbro. Despite the efforts, Mattel's sales and profits continue to be under severe pressure in the first quarter. The company has also ended the first quarter with $2.8 billion in long-term debt, some of which will come due over the next several years. The saving grace here in Larian's eyes, the Barbie brand isn't worthless, but Larian contends the story doll brand isn't worth what many, <coughs> isn't worth what many people believe. So this guy, what's his name, Larian... Uh, Isaac Larian is the CEO of MGA Entertainment. Uh, go doing a quick Google search of exactly what that is here. It is a toy company. I think they make board games and stuff. I believe I've seen that logo on like a like a board game. He also uh, oh they own Little Tykes. They own a bunch of other things. So I have uh, they they obviously Bratz and LOL dolls are I guess their biggest deal there. But um, they apparently he is saying that they tried to buy out Mattel and Mattel declined. They also have, they were going to merge with Mattel I guess to you know do like some big time you know Disney Pixar type deal here and that did not happen because whatever the man said there. What did he say? Uh, he said that an uncooperative Mattel management team and what he believes is a deeply troubled brand. So basically what he's saying is that they are, uh, they're uncooperative, they're not a good team, and I guess he either, he either has some dirt that we don't know about, or, you know, he didn't fully get into it, but apparently the, uh, on the horizon, Mattel's gonna go out of business, but I honestly, I don't know if I could see this happening, guys, to be honest with you, I really, uh, if that were to happen, I mean, even, let's, let's say Mattel went out of business tomorrow, I don't think that this would be a huge detriment to WWE figures, obviously, Mattel goes out of business, Mattel, Mattel goes out of business, you know what I'm saying, so that would obviously be detriment to Mattel, but as far as WWE, WWE figures are concerned. I think that if they went out, guys, I think that somebody would most definitely pick up the license because, you know, uh, there's a lot of money to be made in WWE action figures, WWE toys. I think Mattel re re revealed that, like, they won an award, like, the past couple years, even three years maybe, of uh, the WWE Elite figure line being one of the most popular, most selling lines in all of, you know, action figures and toys. So, 
I really um, think that somebody would definitely, most definitely grab it, and WWE is not going to let that toy money go away. You know, I bet they make a ton of money with their uh, with their agreements and their licensing with Mattel. I don't know all the, the correct, you know, words to use here, but WWE is not going to let all that money go to waste. They would definitely find somebody to pick it up, whether it be Jax, like we used to have in the past. You guys know when Jax ended their contract or lost the license to WWE, um, you know, uh, every, I don't really know. I can't remember exactly how the community reacted acted, but it turned out better with Mattel picking it up. You know, his figures get better and they improve. Mattel figures compared to Jack's are definitely much better as far as the scaling, as far as the articulation, and a lot of other things. Uh, given, you know, not the exact deluxe aggression, those figures were fantastic, but compared to other lines and stuff like that, I think that Hasbro, if they were to pick up the WWE license, they would kill it. I would hope they would retain the same scaling that Mattel did. I think that's whoever it was, like say Mattel goes out of business, I hope that whoever does pick up the license, which they will, guys, they're not, again, they're not going to let that money go wasted. There, There's a ton of money to be made with kids and WWE and figures and the collectors and all that stuff. So if Hasbro picked it up, I think that they would do a fantastic job. But whoever does pick it up, if they were to lose the license, Mattel to lose the license, go out of business, then I would hope that they would try to retain the, uh, the the scaling and all the work that Mattel has done. They wouldn't let all that go to waste. You know, I think that the the people that picked them up would know that, hey, you know, we need to make them. And they wouldn't be exactly the same as Mattel, obviously, because that would be dumb. But they would probably do it uh, similar. The, the scaling would be similar. I would hope it would be in the 112 scale and possibly maybe... If they went to it, like, because the Marvel Legends guys, the, the Marvel Legends are way too small in my opinion. Like, I feel like they need to be upgraded at least 25, 30%. But, you know, uh, if, if somebody were to pick it up, I would hope they would, you know, retain that scaling and keep it in the same size as Mattel. That way that, uh, you know, all of us collectors can fit figures into our collection um, if, if they were to lose the license. But what do you guys think about this? Do you think, are you worried about it? I mean, is this something that you're taking with a grain of salt? I mean, uh, to be honest with you, apparently people who are close with this guy say that he has been right about stuff like this before. They, they say that, you know, he's not wrong. He, he was, they were around the Mattel discussion. And this guy would obviously know something. I mean, if they were talking about merging together and, you know, eventually buying Mattel at one point, then obviously he has to know a little bit because then um, he would have to know all the financial stuff and all the background of Mattel and what kind of debts they have, what kind of trouble they're in as far as financials and stuff of that nature. So I think that uh, this guy's not stupid, but at the same time, um, there has to be at least a little truth in what he's saying. I don't think he pulled this out of his butt, if you get what I'm saying. I think that maybe he uh, he definitely knows what he's talking about to a certain degree, and um, it's going to be interesting going forward. I mean, we thought that you know Toys R Us going out of business. I feel like Toys R Us was in a more detrimental detriment situation. I mean, they just said that they had like 1.6 billion in credit. I think the big the biggest thing for Mattel at this point, I think, would be getting that debt paid in the next few years. I don't know exactly when that debt is due, but whatever it is, they definitely need to get it paid off. That way, that they won't have any other troubles in the near future. But um, Mattel, uh, if, if they were to lose a license, which I hope they don't, you guys know I love the WWE figures. This is obviously a huge hobby, and I love this community and everything we do here at My Name Toys. But rest assured, Mattel went out of business. I love Mattel. We partnered with Mattel. And if that were to happen, that would absolutely be a travesty. I would be very upset about it. But if that did happen, um, whoever did pick up the license, I would definitely continue to buy the figures. I would continue to do whatever the case. But I hope Mattel doesn't lose the, lose the license because I love everything they do. I mean, they, they make some bonehead decisions here and there, but who doesn't? You know, they're not perfect. They're not like W. I mean, they're just like WWE. Not everything they do is perfect. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, we support them, and we want them to succeed, and we want to, you know, continue buying the figures that they create for us and making all the awesome memories and the awesome figures and the shots and the, the matches, the pick feds and all that stuff, but um, if whoever picked it up, if it were, you know, if Mattel were to go out of business, lose the license to WWE, whatever the case, I would definitely continue to buy them. I would continue to support whoever, and uh, we would continue making amazing content for you guys to enjoy and everything like that. So don't ever worry about the channel in, in, in those terms. I don't think we'll ever have to worry about stuff like that because we can always make videos with the Mattel figures we do have or uh, we'll, we'll go out and buy whoever picks up the line. But that pretty much does it for this video, guys. I want to know what you think about the Mattel stuff. Um, have you heard about it? I'm sure you have. I think Wrestling Days did a video. I didn't catch that video, but I wanted to do my own research here today. But um, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I would love to know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Uh, if if Mattel were to end, would you guys continue collecting the figures, or would you pick up the new brand? Do you love the figures that much? What do you think? I would love to know down in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts, but thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. 
Thank you.